And now, world's leading stunt coordinator and weapons expert Anthony DeLongis talks with Jerry Golden Boy Trimble. Jerry, Good what a pleasure. You. Good to see you. Thank man. you for being Good here. Good to see you, Anthony. So, how did you get the nickname Golden Boy? Golden Boy, wow. <laughs> Bringing back some past memories there. Um, uh, you know, it's funny because. Uh, in my fighting career, I was always looking for a name, mm -hmm. and I went from Thumper to Tricky Trimble to Treacherous Trimble, and there was uh, one time right before I fought for the Georgia State title, we went to Daytona Beach, Florida, and I um, had a, you know, gotten a really nice dark tan, and I came down the stairs in the gym, and all the guys are going, oh, look at the golden boy, and it's I looked a... at my trainer, I said, Asa! We got a name. <laughs> it was kind of cool, and yeah, yeah, so it kind of stuck with me. So uh, you're you're doing a lot more acting now. Yeah, um, I've done about thirty films, nine as a stuntman, and uh, the rest about twenty one as an actor. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm you know acting is my that's my main thrust right now. Um, we're writing, trying to produce some things, and uh, you know. In this business, as you well know, you have to create your own reality, and you can't rely on agents and everybody else to give you a job because you'd be sitting around going, <laughs> "Yeah, why well, isn't the phone ringing?" Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So yeah, so um, yeah, acting is. Uh, I, I love acting because it's you know you're, you're able to delve into something that you don't normally be in. You know, a different character, and uh, it's yeah, it's I enjoy doing it. Yeah. I, immensely especially the farther I get from who I am the better yeah and you invest it you know with that with that truth you know from your own life experience yeah That's... you know and it's funny the uh, the similarities of, of fighting and I was, acting I was going to ask oh, it's it's scary how they're both so similar I mean the discipline of, of getting into the ring and getting into a, a mode of operation and getting the physical, the body, mind, and spirit together. And the same thing is, is when you're preparing for a role, you have to become that person. So it's, I mean, it's all training. You know, you get the training in the acting, you get the training in the fighting. You're talking about uh, similarities. Know. Yes. Yeah, similarities. Uh, uh, the kickboxing obviously is more physical. The boxing, the martial arts is more physical in the acting. The training, I mean, there's still immense amount of training with the, you know, the eyes, the uh, cold reading techniques. You have to go to classes. You know, a lot of people, I know friends of mine that are in acting and they don't go to classes and, and I'm like, are you, it's, it's like, You're it's not like, an actor. Yeah, it's like, it's like going for the world title, not training, not sparring, not going through the, uh, you know, all the, the, you know, everything that needs to be done to, you know, to accomplish what you need to accomplish. I'm so glad to hear you talk about this, you know, yeah. and to share with our audience, you know, the kind of discipline that really yeah. to excel at anything requires. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Benjamin Franklin said it perfectly. It's better to prepare for an opportunity that may never come than have an opportunity come and be unprepared. There's been a couple times I've fought and fights came up and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't train it, you know, and I've learned from that. So. You know, I'm preparing for the next role and preparing for the next gig and, and trying to do it all in this crazy business. What's what's next for you? Uh, right now, uh, I just got my Canadian citizenship, so uh, I got more chances to win. And uh, we're doing a lot of writing with my father-in-law, and we're trying to do some producing. Excellent. And uh, it's you know, create your own reality. And uh, it's uh, it's 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 you know, we've got quite a few projects. Uh, How'd you like working with Jet? Jet. Jet was uh, is an interesting guy. It was funny because all the guys on the set, the crew, all the crew was on set, and they were all betting. They're placing bets, going, "Okay, who can kick each other's ass?" Oh, that's good. That's between, helpful. And really I good. went, "They said, come on, Jerry, who do you think would win?" And I went, "I said, you know what? I said we're both champions. I said obviously I'm going to say I can, uh, I would win, and I'm sure Jet would say he would win." And then I said, "So." When do we fight? <laughs> but he was great. No, he was great to work with. Jerry, this was great. Uh, you know, thank you, Look forward to seeing your next film. Thank you.